Around here, though, a local high school was forced to go into crisis mode this morning after a device that looked like a bomb was found. It happened just before 9 this morning. Nearly 800 Woodward High School students ran out of school without belongings or even coats and were rushed to an emergency shelter. Michelle Zapata was the first reporter on the scene. She joins us now live with what happened. Well, the whole ordeal lasted about three hours this morning. It turns out that the device found was not a real bomb. It all started this morning when a student saw a device in a garbage can in a second floor men's room and told administrators. The building went right into what their crisis plan is. A uh, fire alarm was pulled, the students evacuated, they came directly to a safe location, which is the Caldwell Center. 800 students crammed into this small community center, most still unsure of what happened back at school. We were scared. We were scared. They we were scared. Just, the thing ran like it was like a, a fire a drill, fire but, drill it wasn't. but they didn't tell us nothing. They told us to get back and stuff like that. Not knowing how long the situation would last, dozens of TARDA and school buses were called in to get the students moved to Waite High School's field house, a place with more bathrooms and space to organize for parents to pick them up. Though many parents were upset, they couldn't get their kids immediately. Yeah, I'm not understanding. Our, our, we're right so here. we remove our kids, and us parents are right here. I'm and our first priority when anything happens is to make sure the kids are safe. That's what we're doing. The While TPS officials were concentrating on the students, Toledo Police and its bomb squad centered in on securing the school and the possible explosive device. It had the um, it had the appearance of a pipe bomb with a. Uh, like a motherboard from looked almost like it from a computer but I don't think it was attached to it and then another another device as well. Just before noon the bomb squad issued an all clear. The device was a phony. Looking at the panic that this could cause not only from the students in the building but from the families, the resounding neighborhood. Yes, it's a very serious incident. Now TPS officials say they'll review surveillance tapes in hopes of finding the person responsible for the bomb scare. That person could, of course, face several serious criminal charges. Reporting live, Michelle Zapata, Fox Toledo News for Sephora.